What's going on y'all? Today we're going to be talking about the spring speckled trout pattern. Obviously we're having a lot of warm weather coming through and as the water temperatures warm up the speckled trout are on the move. So today we're going to head over to Google Earth and I'm going to show y'all exactly where these speckled trout are transitioning from, where they're headed to, and where y'all can find them. y'all so i got mobile bay pulled up right here um obviously this is my fishery this is where i fish but no matter where you fish speckled trout are going to respond very very similar uh so i'm sure the information that i'm going to put out here today you can relate uh to just about in any speckled trout uh estuary so with that being said got Mobile Bay pulled up here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom down to one of my favorite spots, Dog River. Here we are. Okay, so we got Dog River right here. All right, so let's talk about what these speckled trout have been doing, okay? So obviously in the wintertime, these speckled trout look for these creeks way up in here, way up north in these creeks, right? Creeks and river systems, these speckled trouts are just going to come in here looking for warmth, okay? They're looking for warmth because, A, you have a muddy bottom in all these creeks, right? There's not a whole lot of sand. Mud insulates heat a lot better, uh, as well as you got a lot more groundwater, spring water that's dumping out of the ground, and that groundwater is warmer uh, than the, the Gulf water, bay water, and so on and so forth. So that's what these trout have done during the winter trends. That's where they've been now. Okay, as those water temperatures start to creep up from 55 to 60 degrees, which uh, this weekend we saw 64 degree water temperature, which is great. But that water is going to warm up, right? And as that water warms up, these trout are going to be looking to get on the move and go find salt. Okay, so what you're going to find is on your warmer days as that water starts to creep up, these trout are going to come out of the rivers and boom, they're going to hang out around these mouths right here because you got a lot more salt coming through. Um, it's just a lot more comfortable for them and they're really preparing to make a move south. And the, the awesome thing about springtime is that these trout are getting fat. They're feeding up, they're preparing for the spawn. So if you put a lure in front of them, they're going to eat it. All right, and I mean, you can have some of your best fishing days uh, around March, April time frame. So these trout are going to look to make a move out here. On your warmer days, you're going to find them hanging around the mouse, right? As we get these cold fronts, though, these trout are going to be dipping back into the creek. So you're going to find them pushing in, pushing out, pushing in, pushing out with the water temperatures, okay? Um, trout have to be comfortable with, with the, the overall water temperatures. So your warmer water, they're going to push out, start to head south on your cold fronts, colder nights, they're going to push back in. So that's the hardest thing about spring fishing is trying to figure out where these trout are, uh, you know, in these, in these river systems as they start to make a move. Now, as we get into mid to late March, these trout and all these, all up here around the causeway, these river systems, everything lining here, they're going to come out and then they're going to start coming south. Okay, now as they come south, they're going to take up uh, areas around Gaylord Island, the Middle Bay Lighthouse down here. Uh, all these areas are going to become occupied with speckled trout. Uh, the rigs in the middle of the bay, all of this. So. Um, as we get into mid to late March, if you're in a boat, uh, look to target these trout around Gaylord Island, uh, the rigs down around the bay, uh, the Middle Bay Lighthouse, so on and so forth. Uh, for us kayak anglers, we're going to want to look to target these things, these things, these speckled trout, 
along the edges of these bays, right? All these dots that line the bays right here look to target those areas. Now, as we get into April, uh, as long as we don't have any severe cold fronts or anything like that, mid-April, early April, the trout should be all along here getting ready to do their business, okay? As we get into April, um, these trout are going to be really wanting to, to find a, a couple of things because they're looking to spawn, okay? So as we get into those that 75 degree water temperature, uh, 75 to 80 degrees, which we'll start to see uh, in April, uh, early May, those trout are going to want to spawn. And what they're looking for when they spawn, this is super important if you want to get on a good bite uh, around that time frame, okay? We got to have heavy salt content. So the trout are out of the river systems there, uh, not north in the bay much anymore. Sure, you can still find schools there, but they're looking for heavy salt. So down around Dolphin Island, Fort Morgan, or wherever you're at, you want to basically be right there on your, your, your land masses closest um, to either the Atlantic or the Gulf, all right? Because that's where your heaviest salt content is going to be. The next thing that they have to have is sand, okay? Trout do not want to lay their eggs in mud, all right? So you want nice, good sand. Um, and then the next thing is, is trout don't like to spawn uh, around a lot of clutter and mess, right? They So if you're fishing around like a lot of um, tree limbs and debris and oyster reefs and things like that, you're not in the best spot to catch a lot of speckled trout, right? The speckled trout want to spawn on those sand flats, right? Good salt, sandy water, um, and sandy water, sandy bottom, and then clean, all right? Those are the three things that you really want to look for in late spring, and you're going to catch a lot of trout, y'all. Um, but that's pretty much our spring patterns, what we're looking for um, as we're moving through March, April, uh, to catch big speckled trout, lots of speckled trout. But that's kind of the deal, y'all. I hope this was informative, uh, helpful. If it was, hit that like button, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.